Hello friends, I welcome you on another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users by Perfect Web Solutions. My name is Imran Kasim, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how can we customize the tabs available on single product page. If we look at our single product page, first we need to open our website which we have installed on localhost with the name of Woo store and we go to shop page then if we open any of the single product displayed here we can see currently we have two tabs shown on the single product page we can remove them by using display none property as well but that is not the correct way to do this as they are still loading but on, on the front end and just hiding in the CSS which can be seen easily by using inspect element. The way I'm going to teach you is using by using the WordPress or I must say WooCommerce hooks. If you don't know about hooks, you can watch my previous tutorial on what are the hooks and how to use action hooks and filter hooks and how you can create them. So let's get started. I will open my favorite text editor which is Sublime Text. I have already already loaded 2017 child theme with WooCommerce plugin in it for reference. This plugin I have just loaded to get the reference. Also to get exactly which file or what files are used for this page to be displayed here I must go to my WooCommerce uh, I mean to my uh, WordPress dashboard and then go into my plugin sections and I have a plugin named what the file and that plugin will help me to tell that which template currently is used to display this particular page so I will uh, find that yeah this is a plugin I will just activate I will activate it if you don't know what are the functions of this plugin you can see the introductory video where I have explained little bit about all the plugins I use for development purpose like child theme configurator what the file check the theme and other <coughs> plugins you can watch that tutorial introduction tutorial so the plugin is activated now if I go to shop page or I can visit my store here I can see again this as another extra tab on the admin uh, bar that it shows that which archive product is used to display this these products so let's open a single page and it shows us that this template or this page is using single product dot php template and other files are these which are part of wordpress theme and this single product is as it is not available in the theme it must be the plugin template file so in my text editor I will go to my WooCommerce and then it's template parts and open the single product dot PHP file as this one is telling me that you need to open single product dot PHP file after opening I have and uh, analyzing it I can see that when the loop starts it open a template part content dash single product or content is the folder name or it can be a full folder name or whatever if there is no folder then it will use content dash single dash product so if I look at again on the list I can find that there is content single product dot php file here it is and I will click on it and it will further load another content single if you see it will also show you here content single product dot php file it is and again i start analyzing it to see which hook or function or which hook is used to display those tabs so if you see woocommerce output product data tabs and woocommerce output data. so this hook is used or this function is used to display those data tabs and now if I simply go to do action here and copy this do action and paste it into my functions.php file of my child theme like 
this and after that i will change do to remove action i will convert do action to remove action and let it to be woocommerce after single product summary which is um, uh, i must say which is on the content single product page and then i will say that i don't want to display these data tabs so comma and paste that function here which is responsible to display those product data tabs and next if you see there is a property of uh, priority sorry priority of 10 you must write whatever the priority is otherwise your function won't work i mean if you put if you don't put the same priority this function will remove uh, action function will not work so i must say at the end comma 10 so the code is completed now refresh the page or reload the page and you will see what will gonna happen and as you suspected or, or as i expected the tabs are removed but wait, wait wait a minute what if i only want to remove one tab or what in future i want to add another tab what i'm going to do then it's very easy let me remove this remove action function and save uh, so, and save and then reload the page and get back those tabs now i will right click on it and inspect element and if i can see show you that it is here ally this and this if i hover over and uh, let me uh, zoom in and if you see ally ally review tab and ally description tab this underscore tab is a fixed word because it's shown on both tabs only over concern is this word description and review so i mean if we want to remove reviews we use this reviews word whatever is written in the class review before underscore tab so how to do it just go into this fun particular function we need to go into uh, this particular function so in the content single product page we need to find this function so as you know i'm using a smart editor and i have loaded all the woocommerce uh, files here so i will simply copy this this data tab function and find all find in files function i will choose find in files and i will paste it here let me remove this and insert so and then i will click on find it will find all of the occurrence of this function and i need to find the where it is defined so if you see in uh, includes wc templates dash functions or php file online number 838 i will i have found my rel relative function related function so i will double click on it and it's here sorry 838 page uh, line number eight is this one is sorry it's thumbnail for 827 so it is 838 and it is loading single product folder inside single product folder there is a tabs folder and inside there is a tabs.php file so let's go to the template folder in the w and the woocommerce and find the single product folder in the single product we see the tabs folder which is shown here in the tabs folder we find tabs.php so wrapping it up we have found the file which is responsible to display the product tabs so let's analyze the code and as you see in the start it's assigning tabs to this tabs variable and then if not empty tabs if there are tabs it will execute this function and you see ul class tabs and if i can show you you see ul class tabs wc tabs is shown here as well as it is shown here so this is the responsible code for displaying those tabs 
it means that this variable tabs is having all the tabs we can remove them by manipulating this tabs variable and if you see we have apply filters function so it means we can take advantage of this filter to remove unnecessary tabs or we can use this filter to add new tabs so i will copy this whole function from here move to my functions.php file and at the end of the file i simply paste this and that's it i will just change apply filters to add filter remember it is not add filters it is add filter and it is not apply filter it is apply filters so i will create a custom function uh, where it shows array and that name is my custom tabs function this function must be unique function if you are not sure that whether it's a unique or not we can wrap it up in our condition that if not function exist that if this function my custom tabs function does not exist then do all this proce process that add filter and my custom then I can add function my custom uh, I can copy it from here so I don't need to write it again and then as we are using a uh, filter and this accepts an array so that I can put anything here but for the reference purpose I type here tabs so I can know that it is getting tabs array and I can manipulate them here here so if I simply do print our uh, tabs and save this file reload the page let me minimize it and then reload the page again then you see here some array shown <coughs> here if you cannot see it completely it means it is hidden we can see it by inspecting it elements so here if i can maximize it to show you here it is shown here that there are two arrays description and reviews here reviews array and description array so if we want to remove reviews array we can simply use the function unset which is a php function and you can look for it php inset php and in the php manual unset it says unset unset a given variable it unsets another i mean it says the behavior of unset inside of function can vary depending on what type of variable you are attempting to destroy so it means you can destroy a variable so in the in this uh, two in these tools array i want to destroy reviews right so in my code i will write unset into tabs into array because this is an array the views simple and then i will use return tabs after i'm setting those one tab i can uh, return the remaining array to this function or reload the page and you will see that the reviews tab will be gone yes you won't see anymore the reviews tab if there are too many tabs set up by your theme you can override them like this now what if you want to add your own tab here in replace of description or another tab my own custom tab or my custom tab I, I can name it it is quite simple as this is an array so I can simply set tabs into my custom tab a variable is equals to array so there we need to provide it few parameters the first parameter is the title which will be shown on the tab that like this one is showing description here i will do watch video i just name it watch video so the next will be if you are not too sure you can also take a look on uh, let me do, show you that what parameter does it need so here i see print or tabs and save it and reload the page 
and by going into here and in array and you see this it accept three parameters if I copy them and let me copy this only or let me copy this sorry and this one only copy it right click copy and then I will do tabs into my custom tab is equals to array and I will paste first I will just simply paste it here and then I will change it to this one is title so I need, I need to put it here and the title will be uh, watch video comma priority this review tab have uh, sorry priority 30 let it to be 30 or we can make it 20 or whatever 10 so if they are same they will be displayed in the order they are added and here is the most important call back function so this function will be responsible to display the information inside that tab my custom tab function remember I put here my custom tabs function right here I put my custom tab function there was and there is an s here and there is no s in here so this is a singular my custom tab function and this is plural my custom tabs function again we will put here function my custom tab function the singular one and then we will just simply say echo welcome to my video simple is that so after that we will return inside this function and the reviews are unset the tab will show an extra tab so simply reload the page sorry there was the uh, expecting uh, uh, sorry I forgot to put a semicolon at the end so this error generated by putting and uh, an expecting I'm sorry I couldn't oh sorry sorry again I missed here a single comma and let's put here another comma just for the security that we have differentiated and you see description tab and watch video tab and if I inspect the element I can show you if I can show you that it automatically gave it ally class my custom tab underscore tab so this is my part I mean the name of my which I have given here it is used as a class and underscore tab is automatically added by WooCommerce and also in the reference it also do the same with href so we can move it here and it says call user function expect parameter one to be a valid call back function my custom tab uh, sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry again that here I put F U N C I missed the C and here it is C so now it, they are the same sorry for that again it just happened while you are coding live so now that error is gone and if now I click on watch TV my watch video welcome to my video you can see so now how can we put a video here if you have hosted the video on your WordPress uh, sorry on your uh, YouTube channel or on your YouTube ID you can simply go to its edit like if I go here and if I can find the edit button in my channel if I go to my channel and video manager sorry and meantime I must uh, say thank you to those of my users 
who I who subscribe to my channel and like my videos. I'm very thankful to them on behalf of myself and from my company Perfect Web Solutions. I thanks them very very much. So just I need to select a small video. This one I go to edit and I need to get the embed code. So I right click on the video. Sorry, I right click on the and select copy embed code i copied it and i moved to my note uh, uh, what you call it my favorite id text editor and then i will paste this code in the single course because i can see it is using double quotes so i have to use single quotes outside to make it work properly then save it then go to your page reload the page and if everything goes good you will see a video here which is the same video here so this is how you can add video in your single product page related to your product introductory video for your product you can easily add it here so user can watch what your product is all about so I hope you like this tutorial and uh, I'm sure if you liked it click the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more videos coming on for WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users by myself. I will create all those videos by myself and I'm sure you will like them as you like my previous videos. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.